Hello, my name is Jan Servaas and welcome to Encounters. My guest today is uh, Connor uh, White Sullivan. Uh, Connor is still a senior in anthropology at the University of Massachusetts, but the reason why he's here is because he's also very uh, active in the local political uh, uh, movement and he started a, a web-based kind of uh, uh, organization which is called uh, Local Gracie. <laughs> Uh, I have a bit of difficulty with that name because uh, one of my uh, fields of uh, activity is Thailand and uh, those of you who uh, are familiar with Thai politics, they call, they, they are quite uh, complicated but they call their democratic process democracy and that of course uh, indicates that they are not so uh, uh, feeling great about uh, what they are experiencing over there. But, uh, Connor will be able to explain <laughs> what he has in mind uh, during uh, this interview. Uh, but as we, uh, uh, we would like to introduce a topic for uh, US uh, general public or viewers uh, with an interest in local politics, uh, I would like to uh, ask uh, Connor to start with a bit of an assessment of what the local scene is about. Yes, yeah, so Localocracy is a, a participation platform for citizens to engage um, with the problems that are going on in their community. Uh, the idea we have is that local issues are the ones that you know, affect people the most. They're the roads we drive on, it's the, the schools our kids go to, and to some extent, uh, local problems are often manifest of, of much larger social problems too. But it's a level where people can actually have influence and actually engage, um, accept the difficulty they have in, in finding about and having a voice on their local issues. Not so what are the local issues here in Amherst and the uh, surrounding areas? So in Amherst specifically, there's, uh, there, there are always going to be issues regarding, you know, whether it's issues that are being passed at town meeting uh, or whether it's things like the upcoming uh, debate over the budget override and you know, the, uh, the budget deficit that's going on in the public schools. But the difficulty is that most citizens don't have time to go to a six-hour town meeting so they can raise their hand for 30 seconds. And, you know, a lot of citizens don't have time to, to go around and search a scattered blogosphere or, you know, look through tons of articles in local mm -hmm. newspapers to try to get a sense and, and then try to get their voice in. So what we're trying to do is create a platform where you can see, you know, here are the issues in the community, here are the people running for office, Here's how many people who live in this community support or oppose any given issue or candidate. And here's what they've ranked as the best points uh, or the best arguments for that candidate. So you can see, you know, get a, get a good sense of public opinion. And, and also because we confirm that these are registered voters who actually live in the community, the hope is that as these sort of platforms grow, they can be sources of innovation or sources of engagement that could potentially influence public policy. Okay, but now you're already explaining what mm -hmm. the alternative is uh, from the current situation. On the other hand, uh, if, uh, if we make an assessment of what is happening in Amherst mm -hmm. and uh, what we uh, can observe uh, in uh, everyday life, mm -hmm. uh, the town hall meetings are well attended, mm -hmm. uh, school committee meetings are uh, quite uh, uh, well attended as well as uh, broadcasted uh, uh, mm -hmm. live and, uh, and in tape formats uh, on ACTV and, mm -hmm. and local stations. So people uh, in that sense uh, have or can use the opportunity to be informed mm -hmm. about these things. Uh, at the same time, uh, as we all know, uh, uh, Amherst citizens are quite uh, creative mm -hmm. and uh, want to participate in the democratic movement uh, at the local levels. So what uh, is missing here? And what can uh, your organization uh, add to this uh, uh, with its uh, web-based uh, activities? 